guys, welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. It's Jason here. Today we thought we'd bring the Kubota tractor and the cram and log trailer out and chase some uh, wind damaged and insect damaged trees. So you can see over here that uh, we've got a fir tree. It's got the top broken off of it and uh, there's, not a, there's not a needle left on that tree. And I think it's budworm that's coming through uh, Oak Mountain and uh, it's really devastating on the fir trees. It seems like the trees are healthy and the next time you turn around there's not a needle left on them and they're dead standing. So we're trying to recover some logs out of these trees. I don't imagine that the wood's going to be good enough for anybody to, to use if we were to sell it, but it's going to be good enough for us to use around the yard and on the farm. So as you know, uh, my dad's bought a sawmill and he's looking for some material to practice on. So we thought it'd be a good opportunity to pull some of this stock out of the woods, see if there's any value left in it and give him uh, a little bit of stock to work with on the sawmill. So stick around. <laughs> Okay guys, so you can see I had to cut off about a foot here and I really didn't need to but I wanted to make sure that it was sound. And then as I was limiting out the tree, I saw that there was a sweep right here in the bottom so I took another foot off to get rid of that sweep just so that it would lay nice on the sawmill. This tree, as you can see, even though it looked terrible standing, no needles in the top off of it, it's very sound. I think it's going to make some decent lumber actually and it's about... 12 inches on the butt. So I was gonna get, uh, gonna get a nice saw log out of this uh, tree. I was kind of thinking that I might go 16 foot and try and make a nice timber out of it. But the more I look at it, I think I'm gonna just do eight foot sixes on this and maybe get two out and uh, call that a win. Because like I say, the tree looked dead. <laughs> Okay, so I changed my mind again. It held its size pretty good up to 12 foot, so I made a 12 foot 6 log out of the first one. I think I might have an 8 footer left in the next one, but it's up high and I can't limit safely. 
So I'm going to winch this one out with the cram and log trailer, and then I'm going to try and pull this one down where I can work on it. So it's quite a job to get one of these fellows on the ground and get it cleaned up. But that's logging. Hey, for all you sawmill guys who think you might want to have uh, one of these little cram and log trailers behind your tractor, I just wanted to show you this was 12 foot 6 and it's a 9 inch top. So it handles a pretty decent little log, I guess. And uh, I know that Cranman makes larger models, so if you have like a 30, 40, or 50 horsepower tractor, they have bigger log loaders that will go behind those as well. I just thought for our purposes with the trailer that we had behind the ATV, 
the little 2601 Kubota would be the right choice for our application. Okay guys, uh, we've got uh, a spruce windfall that I've seen uh, kind of up on the woods road near the house and we're going to spin around and go after that next and uh, we're going to try out this little B2601 Kubota and see how it works in the snow. Um, I've got the, I think these are the industrial tires that I have on it, not uh, ag tires. Not much for tread, probably not going to work well in the snow, but I also have a trailer drive. So I think we're going to be able to get into this next tree and clean it up as well. Okay guys, there's that spruce tree I was talking about. It looks like uh, maybe a bit of rot in the butt, uh, but also blown over by a strong wind that came through at one time or another. It uh, still has some green boughs on it, so I expect to get into some pretty good wood, but uh, we're gonna get this laying down on the ground and I'm either gonna do a 12 foot six or a series of eight foot six logs out of this one.
Okay guys, so there you have it. Uh, a couple of trees and not a long time out in the woods, but it's nice to get back at it because I've had a break for a couple of weeks. So uh, I think that we've got uh, four eight foot logs and a nice 12 foot six log there. That's gonna be good for the sawmill when the snow goes and things dry up. The B2601 Kubota is working well. The cram and log trailer's doing its thing behind us. So uh, really pleased with the way the day went today. So like I always say, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, then help us grow the channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share them with your friends, and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACODs will be up to next. We'll see you in the next one.